Mm. Yeah, good day, Aaron. Uh, what do we got for time here? Four o'clock. This long full day's worth of work I've done in ages. This is unprecedented. Alrighty. Get that out of the way. We don't need the microscope. That later. Hey, Greg. Alright, so what have we got here? 6S Plus. Yeah, it's got some damage to it, but yeah. And the complaint is no earpiece for you, so given the general state of it, I'm going to go, I reckon, under the microscope, we'll see that that ear port is actually all choked up. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we've got a chicken dinner here. Yeah. That'll about do it. That's yeah, I've got to think of something intelligent to say here. I'm going to ruin it. Uh, all choked up, all closed up more than something, something, and something. I don't know. Oh, well. Let's try and clear this out, shall we? I'm going to do it the usual way. A bit of alcohol and water. This one looks pretty, pretty damn well checked up. Where's my brushy brush? There it is. <laughs> Come on, brushy brush. You can do it. You know you can do it. Let's get ourselves a little bit more water and alcohol. You need the water in it. If you don't have the water in this, it will not do this job. Instead, all that will happen is you'll just soak the port, the adhesive will come undone, and you will not get any clearing done. Yeah, it's starting to open up now. You do it vertically. Hey, Christian. Hey, you're not a... Yeah, after all this time, you're not. There you go. Just fix things up. Set things right. Now, by now, this person will be out of here, but we're going to try and clear it out a little better. And because this is still about 85-90% alcohol, I'm not too worried about it causing any sort of li liquid damage or anything like that. I need a finer toothbrush, I think. This is about the finest one I can get. I don't want to push too hard, because otherwise I'll probably push that grill straight off. Too late, you got it. You must now be burdened with the burden of being a mod. No one likes to be a mod. A true mod does not like being a mod. Because it's like, why, why give me this power? With great power comes nothing good. Tooth, yeah. I'm not a fan of the high pressure air method because it has a bad habit of, well, in my experience anyway, has a bad habit of blowing out the diaphragm on the earpiece. To be fair with these ones, not so much because of the fact that the earpiece module itself has its own little mesh. But on other ones, like particularly say like the iPhone 4, 4S, things like that where they weren't a separate sort of enclosed module, yeah, the old compressed air would ruin them. It will ruin microphones still on these models. So if you're trying to clear out a microphone port, don't use the compressed air. It will blow them up. Well, when I say blow them up, you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, Richard T. What? 
Hey Martin, 1107. Uh, clogged up tight on the fat bag in the New York City sewer system. Oh, that's that's good. Getting there, getting there. Oh, this is getting frustrating. It's so close. It's not perfect though. Yeah, that's going to do fine. I'm not even going to be charging the person. Ah, oh, gross, man. How do they... What are they stuck on there? How do people get this stuff on their phones? This is pure alcohol, on the other hand. The reason why I did that is because I was thinking whatever that was, it kind of looked like some sort of gum residue. So, you see how it's not really taking the dirt away from the camera area, whereas if I switch over to water alcohol mix, which I'll just put on now, you watch nothing's going to change. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's lifting it already. So the noise reduction port probably needs a bit of a clean out. I think they'll do. See what the bottom ports look like. Awful, but got holes in them still, so that's okay. Yeah. See how the person goes with that. They'll be out of here now. By the way, the 1502 that I had in earlier with the keyboard and mouse uh, trackpad issue, you know, changed the flex and it's all good. So, yeah. I have to order myself another couple of those because I keep running out. But I did want to check the rest of the board, so that's why I took it out. Hey, high voltage. How's it going? Alright, where is the Teresa? Okay. Alright, let's get to this 1708. I'm not really keen on the 1708s, but that's life. There are worse boards. Now, the problem I have with the 1708 on this particular one is that it's simply not showing up. Uh, yeah, it's not detecting or not charging the battery. And the battery doesn't look 100%. This is the one that took water damage onto it. Raining in Brisbane. Send it up here. I'd appreciate that. I suppose you guys have got your bushfire issues and whatnot to deal with. Oh, I just noticed that actually comes off there. Neat. There's a bit of junk and garbage around there. Uh, let's see, the liquid damage took out something in there, so I'm going to see if plugging in a new battery helps. And if it does, fine, then we just replace it. But supposedly it doesn't. 
but um, that being the case then I will replace U7000 I think it was U7000 on this one and see how we go someone just pinged me and I don't know where my phone is it's not my pocket where is my phone? Oh, there it is yep 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 uh. all right it's, no I'm just fiddling farting around here not doing anything useful so hmm trying to think how I can safely do this. Uh, let's see what we can do. Why do the bastards have to stick these down? Why couldn't they give us a way to <coughs> remove the batteries in a sane manner? I mean, really. Interesting, you have to. Hmm. Hmm. It's probably not advisable to do that. <sighs> Crap. Alright, what I might have to do is plug this in with the battery, use an external Thunder uh, USB C display connector just to see if I can see the battery coming up oh, this is going to be fun yay ludicrous big storm on Gold Coast eh? no power for three hours it's almost like you guys are in the middle of nowhere or something now what the heck is the idea with the Gold Coast being declared as a rural area. I mean, come on. Talk about just not even close to reality. So try to start out with good news like, oh, well, we're now suggesting people get um, preferential treatment for jobs if they're in rural areas. And then you see Gold Coast on it, and it's like, are you kidding me? It's basically anywhere that's not one of the major centres like Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne is considered rural. So that is absurd. Well, I can't have tell that's been messed around before. Hey Daniel Knight from Poland. Uh, where's my... I've got one of those multi-port, oh there it is. Actually I should be able to tell without even plugging in a screen or anything because I'll be able to tell from the current drawer. So I won't need that. All I need to do is screw this in and hope things don't go kabang. Because if things go kabang then I go cry. Cry. Hey Blackwood, how's it going? Yes, you finally did catch a live stream. Welcome. Mm, you missed the earlier one, but that was probably a good thing because it was a bit of a disaster. A bit of sw well, not quite swearing, but pretty damn close. Oh wait, no, I did swear a couple of times. I'm fairly sure I said some low-grade swear words. Stuff that five-year-olds will laugh at.
the image. Alright. Let's see if we can move this across so that you guys can see as well. So we've got our USB meter. Five twenty volts, six twenty, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred. I think we want to get to about 2 amps or something like that. Yeah, uh, see so many sitting at 60 there. Which means it's probably not charging that battery. Oh, the lethal one, really. You think I don't know. You know I know who you are, and you know that I know that you know, or whatever. Alright, so it's not charging, so... Oh. Shame about that. I keep holding on, waiting, hoping. The other risk, though, is that if it is already charged, then... <laughs> oh... It's getting warm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, if it's already charged. Well, I suppose the easy way to find out is I'll just leave that disconnected. See if I've got a voltage on one of the coils. Quite right there. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, try not to blow it up. I got no voltage on the coils. What about the CPU? Nothing. Hmm. Alright. So maybe it's definitely not sensing the battery after all. Brilliant harbinger of death. Uh, the least one, I don't know, I didn't check. Why did you ask me that after I disconnected? Yeah, you asked me after I disconnected. Alright, we'll do that again just for you. Oops, yeah, I agree. It's something I should have done. I'm not used to you actually having useful ideas. My apologies for that. Okay, any of those caps there? All right. So we'll do the process again under the guidance of Professor O'Neill. You know, Neil, if, um, if that truck had done its job right, and then you're wheelchair bound. You could shave your head, and you become prof you can become Professor Wheels. And then we just got to find Wolverine and a few others, and then we live in the real life X Men. But nope, you had to retain your ability to walk. So, right, those three caps, that's what I was looking for. 10 volts. There we are. There you go, there's your answer. 10 volts. 620 milliamp. Hey, Jane Robert. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, swearing can be zen sometimes. I generally just prefer to try and avoid it if I can. Tim likes to pretend you're Dr. House. Oh, really? Well, okay, House, how about you tell me what's going on here then? Tell me what I should look at replacing before I bother to use my brain and track it down myself. So it's charging batteries at zero. This is a brand new battery. I think the problem is that it's trickle charging. Mm, I'd be very surprised if this was shipped flat. But, you know, okay, we'll give it a minute. I do know what you mean, because, yeah, once the cells are below a certain point, it does have to do an extreme trickle charge before it gets to a safe point on the lithium packs. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. One amp. 1 1.25. 1 1.4. 1.62. 7.2. 8.2. Two amps. Well done. Well done, Anel. I can't believe it. That's two things now I have to thank you for. You know what that's costing me in my soul? Three amps. No, 2.8. Yeah, <sighs> trying to gracefully admit that someone helped you. It's unbecoming of me. Yeah, 11.6, we're going up. I'm actually surprised. I would not have expected this to be shipped flat because these should normally be shipped out. Well, ideally the pack should be shipped at a cell voltage of around about 3.8. Now, Owen, yeah, I mean, you yes, sort of yes, no, but whatever. Basically, I get all my stuff from Bad Caps. Badcaps.net forum. Go into the schematics request page. Jake, have you had water coming through your window? Mm, sounds like a, vicious, a bit of a vicious storm then. Well, I'll let this put 200 milliamp in, and at least that way, then the pack can sit around and you know be okay on the shelf for another month or two. So it does make me wonder with the other battery that they tried if it came from a questionable source. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the storage capacity around, yeah, about 50 to 70 percent, which is around about 3.8, 3.85 volts. And they should last like that for, under normal circumstances, a couple of years without drifting too much. Banged my, health, banged my head against the wall too many times. I'm tasked with refurbishing all the junk boards left over around the store. So, so many bad batteries. When you say bad, do you mean as in they've just become bad or they were manufactured bad in the first place? Yeah, in this case, it was definitely a fault of my own assumptions here because I was assuming that these would be shipped in a... Uh, at least some degree of a storage voltage. As long as they're over 3 volt a cell, then the charge rate should be pretty much full. For it to be forced into trickle mode, it generally has to drop below th 2, um, usually below 2.9 before it will activate trickle charge. So it's a bit of a concern. Yeah, Bad Caps is an excellent source for most of these things that people want. And I've even got a link on the Flexboard View site for people to go to. Hey, Bailey. Now you got your shop, you're getting so many nightmare customers. Yeah, welcome to why I won't do a shop. <laughs> I'm just not willing to do it. Yeah, Vinifix is a real problem because you've got to have all the credits and things like that. I think the more people that invest into putting stuff onto bad caps, the better off we'll all be. 
Hey, cop it now. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for being watching too. If there's no PP bus on a... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know that board. But I'd imagine... Do you have a USB... Is that a... Was that a USB-C one? Do you have a current meter like these? This one here? Because if you don't... If you're doing this uh, sort of work on these USB-C boards, you really need to have one of these current meters. If you don't have one, then you're basically going to be running around lost. Okay, that's perfectly fine. We've got <coughs> enough charge in there now to see me over for the next couple of months. Hey, hi in tech. What I'm going to be curious about is if I put this back into the board, uh, to the chassis, what it does. The only thing I'm going to be painting about here a little bit is the fact that I did buy this battery, and these batteries are not cheap. And I don't get the 1708 that often, so... Uh, Yeah, I'm a bit like that as well, Lethal One. Can't really... <laughs> Most of that stuff, you know, the way Lewis just rattles off numbers, it's like, yep, yeah, okay. I'll believe you. Yeah, let's see, A1708. That's good enough for me. On the A1425 that we were working on the other night, I got the replacement um, bridge cable for it, and that's working all good now. So we did fix up everything, thankfully. I know I haven't got the drive attached. I don't really want it attached at this point. Ah, oh, damn you, always, every time. And then, yep, you slip under, naturally. And then your second one slips under. Oh, you little lousy rat bag, so-and-so of a... whatever. Practicing on my swearing, that was my swearing there. The censored swearing version. Okay. Hallelujah, we're in. Except, oof, that's kind of bent a little out of proportion. Label A1707 troll battery, 0%. What? Oh, the Windows 10 update perpetual loop, yeah, that's a good one. I do like getting that one in, because, yeah, you basically just set it aside, and... It's not a big drama to fix that, thankfully. Well, you get people who get impatient with the updates, when they think that it's dead. And just hanging there, doing nothing. <laughs> so, and you just give it a little more time, and... A better internet connection, and away it goes. That. Yeah, I'm curious as to what... ...this line is, because it doesn't really look like a power trace. Um, so no, what if I just actually touch that up? I'll measure things first, and then I'll touch that up, and then see what happens. It'd be funny if that's all it was needed. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. Get in. 
get in. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I do like the Windows 10 updates. It is usually fairly good, easy business. Especially out here with a lot of people not having the best of internet. Alright. See how we go with that voltage now. Okay, we're back to about 27. Okay, we're doing 640, 700. Yeah. Thirteen volts. It's interesting that just restarted on me. Still got twenty. Sintech, you're welcome. Thank you. We're going to get a flashing folder soon. No flashy, flashy. There we go. Alright. Let's see if I pull the power whether it sticks around. Dead. Yeah, so this battery is definitely cactus and I think what's happened is that the battery that the other person has gotten to replace it is also no good. Yeah, that's my theory. It's a little hard for me to test confirm though because I can't readily... I suppose I could. Yeah, alright, let's do it this way. We're going to do the full test now. What we'll do is rig it up, use the USB-C multi-port, and then we'll hook it up to HDMI output and see if we get something resembling a functional computer with charging. Oh, that's right, that's what we're going to try. We're going to try and resolder that little bit of corrosion that we saw. That itty bitty bit. Because it's entirely possible that that is one of the you know, SCL or SCA type lines. And I'm going to use hot air at 500 centigrade and 120 liters per minute. I'm going to leave it there for about three minutes. I figure that should do it. Oh, damn it, I brought the wrong tip to the party. You gotta be careful because this is actually a live battery, so if I short something, it's gonna go. Pfft. Alrighty. Let's see if that brings us back to life.
Yeah, just saying that makes me want to play Evanescence now. <laughs> Can you get that temperature and freedom units? Uh, 105? Oh, wait, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I thought you meant the weather around here. Oh, hell, I don't know what they are in freedom units. No, I don't think it's talking still. Thirteen. Uh. Back up. What I'm going to do is I'll ask the person who sent this in where they got their battery from and uh, yeah, if they say to me eBay, I don't think they would but you know, if they do then I will sort of go, well, you might have to get one from somewhere a little bit different. I might do all of those, I can see there's still a little bit more yeah, it looks just janky as hell. Thank you, Jessa, for that term. Oh, the main board is disconnected. I sort of want to see what's under there. I could technically do it if I lift this up. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of fighting with myself here as to if I want to do such dramatic moves, especially after today. There's um there's two there's two pads within the pad, and that's the problem. But I'm going to lift up the whole lot and live to regret it, I dare say. Damn it, they've glued it. The little SABs. Seriously, it's not enough that you actually sold it, you also glued it? Aha, uh -huh, maybe you didn't. Maybe I'm just being a whingy little SAB. Damn it, hold on to it, Paul. Any better tweezers? Ah, yeah, there we go. There's our culprit, probably. Man, that looks like a nice chunk of Shrek snot. Nice and crusted up from the evening of dry air and the air conditioning. Oh, yeah, look at that baby. It's not a healthy look. 
Okay, I don't really know if that's at fault, but... <sighs> I'm trying to think how I'm going to tackle this now. Some captain tape for a start. Yeah, shake your hands. I don't even have a good reason for it, unlike some people. I'm just that way. Anxiety is my main driver. Yep, there goes the Friday afternoon idiots, one of many. I mean, as you imagine, I don't want this computer going up in flames because it's on my workbench and I don't want to have to spend 2,000 bucks to fix up my mistake. I don't even have anyone to blame around here. It's not like I can say, oh, it's the software's fault. I'd say the pads were connected, but yeah, whatever's going on in that cap in there, that's a real problem. Yeah, the problem. The other problem I have. Uh, I wonder if this is shorted. Oh man, it's. I think it has shorted, and I think it's exploded. I think that's what the blackness is. It's underneath the plastic. Hey Tahiti, really cool, excellent. Yeah, look at that cap. Look at that. I wonder if I can. Re it'd be great if replacing that cap resolves this. Or brings this battery to life. Uh, the hard thing here will be getting that goo off without caploding things because that's really hard but I don't want to bring hot air into here I just don't have that room but that cap definitely looks sus to me Nashville, Tennessee wow, cool Aren't you guys just supposed to be producing country music and maybe western too? I don't think I caused those chips. Because my blade was not in that area. Now, this one's completed on its own. Well, it's a decent sized cap. I'd say it's probably one... Uh, it could be one microfarad, 25 volts, or... Okay, I can't measure the resistance across that because I think there's a voltage yeah 6 volts, that battery's alive but then it can't be shorted because if it was shorted it would um, well it wouldn't have any power Crap hell. It broke my blade. Ungrateful. Hey, Paul. 100 air. Yeah, maybe I would. You might be right. Let's give that a shot. I've actually got 250, but I'm going to drop it down to, say, 150. Admittingly, epoxy sort of like doesn't really live very well beyond a hundred, uh, beyond sixty or so. Anyway, Let's find something a little more aggressive.
Remember, the battery is active. It's got voltage on it. I'm trying to make sure if I do touch anything, it's only one pad at a time. Otherwise, there'll be a great big explosion in your face. Okey look. Well, it definitely looks complete crap. Let's try to desolder that. So you can do it now. The best thing is I didn't even melt the speaker. Yeah, that's a. That's a crap cat. Oh, Lewis. What are you doing awake? Let's have a look at this little baby. Be curious to see whether it now works without that cap in it, but I have a feeling it might be part of a, f it could be a charge couples system or something. And yeah, maybe the reason why it doesn't read is short. We'll try this side again. Maybe it blew itself out. Whoops! Where'd you go? We're on a better surface and that's not going to bounce around like a freaking trampoline. Yeah, I'll plug it in and see how it goes now. Now, it's definitely not reading a short. It does have a resistance across it though, which it shouldn't. So it's 0.5. That should actually be 3.5. So, yeah, it's... That's no good. It's not complete sure, but it's on its way. It's more like a medium. Alright, let's see if we get any luck now. Lewis, you're a quarter of a millionaire yet? Did you get your Patreon thingamajig? I'll get you with Flexboard View one day. By the way, sales of Flexboard View are still ticking along nicely, so... I haven't been penalised too much. Oh. We've got to solder that um, flex back on. Uh, I'm going to guess one microfarad 25 volts. That's my guess. And it's a 402. 402 resistor, 402 cap. I 
I know, I thought you had your own copy. There we go, look at that. First bag on the top. Richard Lewis never does this sort of work. Hands it off to the smart people like Paul. Something about Paul's that Lewis likes. Or doesn't like. And remember, this is possibly still live, so... <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, hey, I've got to stop bashing the tips into the... Because these pads do have six volts across them. Yeah, Dan, I know, I know. You're preparing for it. You're preparing for the great big, big bang. Oh, man. I'm out of these almost. I've only got one left. Two left. This is not good. And I was wrong. There's 603s. Alright, if they're 603, that could, that changes things a lot. It could be 10 microfarad, 25 volt. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to tell. And unfortunately, I cannot determine what they are from the old one. Uh, unless someone happens to have one of those and they can rip it off for me. 805. Why have I got an 805s in the 603 box? Okay, I got 10, 25, 603. So that's perfect. Oh, but these are the ones with the goddamn standoffs, aren't you? Tell me you've got a standoff and I'll hit you. You don't. There was a bunch of capacitors that I bought a reel of and. For whatever reason, they actually, they had, oh, it is them. Yeah, this is them, buggers. They have this very strange little circuit board on them, like that. And I do not know why. And there's nothing in the specification of the part depicting that they have that. So I'm hoping someone out there might know. Okay, so 125. I'll just see if I've got another one that isn't 150. Maybe I should just go 125. I'd probably sooner they go 10, 16. 1050? Seriously? No, oh, you're yeah, 805s. Bastards. i got to split these containers out. Because I get caught out with great hope every now and then. I need to be greatly disappointed. Kind of like Lewis upgrading software. 1016, 805s. Definitely not 2.210. Alright, fine. We'll go with the crazy, stupid little daughter board versions. Hey Mario! ESD safe, are you kidding me? Oh wait, no, you're talking about just the fact that I got everything in little stacks in the... Um yeah, okay, I get what you were saying there. Shoot. I just dropped the damn cap. There it is. Can you imagine if that got. This would have been Apple manufacturing quality if I left that floating around. Yeah, I just don't understand the purpose of that tiny circuit. I mean, why go to that trouble? I'm not saying it's dumb or anything, I'm just kind of, I'm insanely curious as to why it's been done, that's all.
at least they're easy to get off. But manufacturing a small circuit board like that could not have been the easiest of thing. And I really need to change to my JSO2. Prepare for the screaming. Thank you, Ruggers. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Lunch, that'll be good. Might get myself some nice Chinese noodles or vegetarian fried rice or something like that. Should be good. Uh, I wouldn't say I've got steel ones, they're more like, um, plasticine, but sure, uh, I'll take the compliment, damn it. Hey, I am six skills. Remember, I cannot touch both sides. I'm worried I'm going to have a fleeting moment of stupidity and touch both sides. I'm soldering vertically, yeah. Well, he's the one who seems to think no one does it. Meanwhile, everybody does it. He's like one of those... He's like Hillary Clinton telling people not to have sex. Just don't do it. It's like, yeah, okay. Whatever you say. Got it. I got it. Okay, now we've got to touch up those pads because we've got to reattach that flex. Meanwhile, I'm just wasting... Yeah, if this was on the clock, I would be fired. I mean, why waste all this time trying to fix a battery that probably can't be fixed? I don't know. Wasn't it Hillary? It was somebody. Instead of telling everyone to just... Partake in abstinence. Or maybe it was someone unrealistic like Ida Batros. I don't know. Left-handed person needs right-handed positioning. Jesus, this is a fight and a half. Well, it's not perfect, but honestly, these things are fine. Lara Bush. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> My bad. Thank you. Shows who doesn't watch American politics enough. Well, as long as I don't check my emails, I'll be right. Okay, I think they're all good connected. Nice thing is I'm not even cracking up a sweat on this one, for some reason. Seriously, it was Lara Bush? Hmm. It's kind of like, it's one of those weird things where stuff gets flipped around from what really happened. A bit like people thinking that um, the Iraq second invasion was because of 9-11. I'm thinking that it was a sum of, uh, not a sum, it was a sum of, I'm thinking it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Saddam Hussein, who did the Twin Towers thing, rather than Osama Bin Laden. 
Well, seriously, you go around, you ask people, and they're like, oh, yeah, that was because of Saddam Hussein crashing into the towers. I said, no, it wasn't. It's one of those what the now type moments. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we go now. <laughs> well, we've still got 20 volts, so the machine still runs. That's a good start. Don't think it's working, though. No, nah, it's dropping down to 45 again. Shit, I just diode mode my own. Good on ya. Yeah, no, that's not working. Wah wah. Oh well, we tried. It was an interesting experiment. But obviously something else got taken out. Well, it's certainly not that. We'll give it another minute, but I don't think it's going to be that. The Mandela effect. Yeah, that's the funny thing is the Mandela effect in itself is the Mandela effect because really that whole thing about the Mandela thing was not even legit in the first place. So no, it kind of emerged out of nowhere. A bit like a time paradox. It had to start from somewhere. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Alright. Well, uh, what should we do? We'll rig it up outside of the... Oh, mother, flip that. Flipping her, and I shouldn't have done that while it was still... No, oh, well. We'll rig it up, see if we can get our um, display And see if we can see some charging on the OS. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see it. But I will. Uh, screen. Keep forgetting to bring this flex across. Doesn't know that the lighting sucks. to steal the HDMI, which means I need to push you guys into here, otherwise I'm going to come back and I won't know what anyone's saying. Yeah, I'm going to dive deep, deep down, uh, pull out of that.
<laughs> yeah. Why not? I hope I can turn this on. Crack up if I can't. Okay, we've got 20 volts. Let's see if we can get the screen activating. It'll look like I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at the screen. Blinky, blinky. Come on, screen. Come on up. How am I supposed to make this turn on? Huh. Three amps. Because the trouble is with the battery connector is not going to... Um, automatically turn on, but I can't turn it on because I don't have a keyboard with the on-off button. No, I've got it. I mean, it's it's charging. I've got three amps coming through the charge for the USB. Uh, let's see. How do you do a manual reset on these? I mean, these don't have a jumper button or anything, do they? Do they? Do they have an on-off short pair that I can use? Let me see if I can find it on the keyboard anyway. Let's see. On off. Oh yeah, it's got an SMC on off L. I might be able to short that. And hopefully we don't go kabang. Okay, it's oh man. Pin five. Which way that's my only option. On this side of the board. Pin 5, SMC, on off L. We need to go to ground, which is pin 4. Okay, so we short pin 4 and 5 together and we hopefully will get a great win. Hey Max. Oops, that was a little aggressive. So, theoretically, I should be able to shove a pin between 4 and 5, and we better damn well get something that boots. So 4 is ground, 5 is on off hill. That should be more than enough to boot it. The screen, uh, doesn't seem like it is. I did get the right one, didn't I? Yeah, it's the top one. Hmm. But I'm not sure what to think. So I put my Mojave stick in it.
Tá sendo. Something's going on there. Oh yeah, we've got something now. Green screen. Black. It's going to be beating off that stick now, isn't it? Something like Well, the signal output staying steady. And we've got an Apple logo. That was weird. MacBook. Oh, this is the person's actual system. Whoop. Right, yeah. Okay, well, we're sitting at 8% on the battery now. So let's see if it gets to 9%. I mean, the fact that it's um, even showing me a percentage is advancement in what it was before. Let's see if I can. Yeah, this is going to be bloody impossible. I'm now just waiting for a 9% to show up, which I'm pretty sure it will. And if it does show up 9%, then I know it's definitely just whatever battery that they had bought to replace into this was a dud. Come on, give me 9%. 3 amps still. 10%? Wow, you jumped 9 completely. What are you, Windows? All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then we're gonna shut this down now. I need a mouse. I got a mouse, but it's a PS2 mouse. It's no good. You gotta keep those PS2 mice around. You never know when you're gonna need them one day. One day, maybe in the far distant future. Crud. I'm just gonna have to power kill it. Damn it. Did not want to do that. Wanted to be at least a little bit graceful today. No. Ow. So much for that grace. Dead one. No, just gonna have to be a just gonna have to be a power kill. Oh well. Okay, we're up to eleven percent now, so we're all good. We're all running. So well in the end it turns out it was just a unfortunate case of their battery was bad. And I just spent a whole bunch of time for nothing. I suppose I could just send him this battery and say, this is a known working one, go ahead, fit it. Yeah. And people are going to be saying, why don't you fit it yourself? Why don't you do it for him? So it's because I just don't do that stuff. to the depths. <laughs> okay, we should be good again. And we are.
Alrighty. Well, I think that wraps up for today. So I'm just going to let these people know about that. A little discovery and... Yeah. We, we're done. I'm done. Uh, this is probably the longest I've been running a stream in any given day. It's like five hours to collectively almost. So it's a little bit more than my usual. So I'm going to head off, get some food, get some coffee. Definitely need some coffee. What is it? It's 5.20, which means it's going to be slightly getting cool outside. I might be able to sit out there and watch the fur kids run around. So thank you everyone for sticking around. At, um, we didn't really have a massive degree of successes here today, did we? But we had some fun, hopefully. But uh, appreciate you all sticking around. So catch us next time. Watch out for the dingoes. You all take care.